Well, one community hit particularly hard by Hurricane Irma is Arcadia, nearby DeSoto County. They got some very strong winds from the storm. Janelle Fort joins us now live from Arcadia to show us some of the damage from there. Janelle? Yeah, this is one of those areas hit hardest by the wrath of Irma here in Arcadia. And now, this place looks a lot better than it looked when we got here around 2 o'clock. Emergency crews have been out here cleaning up the road. Much of the debris comes from the uh, roofs of the buildings that are down this strip. But I want to give you guys a look at what this place looked like when we first got out here. Take a look at this video. That's the roof of a hotel here on this strip. They're not sure if it was the winds from the hurricane or if a tornado touched down and actually ripped the roof off and into the road in the adjacent parking lot here on this strip. Now, I spoke with business owners here on this road earlier today. When we first got here, they were pretty upset because they said that emergency management crews hadn't made their way out here. But over the course of the past three hours, they have been here. They've been cleaning up the road. The police chief for Arcadia was out here earlier today. He says that this is just one of a number of places that have a lot of damage from that storm. Now, we did speak with those business owners, and here's what they had to say about the cleanup efforts, and they actually sounded pretty optimistic. We're a small rural town. We're, we're, we don't get no help here. You don't get any help from anybody down here. We're just a rural old country trying to make a living, you know. We bust our butts and help one another, and, and we still help one another through the hard times, and, you know. We're, we're going to open back up as soon as all of us can get open up. As soon as we can get the debris out of the streets, we hope to get the stores open, you know, by this weekend if we can. Local crews and the police department said they're working to try and make that a reality. The police chief tells me that in addition to the damage you see here, Highway 70 has a sinkhole that has completely shut down that highway. There's a number of other buildings and businesses and homes throughout the area that also have wind damage and there's flooding throughout the area. And the police chief tells me that also there is a curfew for the town from 9 a.m. to 6 a.m. that is currently in effect. We'll continue to give you guys updates as we get more information. But for now, reporting live here in Arcadia, Janelle Ford, back to you guys. All right, Janelle, thank you so much.